Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. So I'm super excited about today's video because I'm finally going to be testing out the new Fenty Beauty Concealer. I have been dying to get my hands on it, but life happens, things happen, we get busy. I didn't have a chance to go in store. I tried picking out my shade online, but then I was worried that it was gonna be too light and I'm just super glad I went into store because I think I picked out the best shade. If my focus is coming in and out, I do apologize, I don't know what the hell's wrong with my camera. Anyway, there's another shade that I might go back for, but we'll see today depending how it looks. I'm still in my PJs, but I just wanted to get ready and then I'll change and get on with my life. So I'm currently wearing the Fenty Pro Filter uh, Matte, Soft Matte Primer. And I am wearing the Fenty Beauty Foundation because I did want to see how this product applied over the foundation. So when I mix these, it's my perfect shade. So I need to find which shade would be the mix of these two. So I'm wearing shade 180 and 240. And then yesterday I went to Sephora and I picked up the concealer. I paid 26 bucks for this concealer and it does have 0.27 fluid ounces. I'll let you guys know a little bit later how it compares to other concealers because I didn't grab any of mine. By the way, if you can see a mess, please, please, please ignore it. Um, I just ignore it, okay? I haven't had a chance to, to pick up. Okay, thank you. So I picked up the concealer. I also picked up uh, the new Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. And I am super excited. I did go with the shade Banana. I feel like I can do uh, the shade Butter under my eye and it would brighten me up. But I feel that if I do Butter all over my face, it's going to make me look a little bit ghostly. And then I also picked up this... Uh, this is mainly for traveling. I got the Fenty Beauty, obviously, Pro Filter, the same primer that I'm wearing, but I got the little baby. <gasps> it's so cute because I just, I wanted it for traveling. I was waiting for them to release it. I used to have to put it in like a little pot, actually, in one of these. Now, I mean, it takes up more space, but whatever. I'm just excited to have minis. I love little mini things because I'm little. I look super, super ghostly um, because I just have foundation on. Um, I haven't set my foundation or anything like that. This foundation is pretty self-setting, actually. But I wanted to go ahead and apply my concealer with you guys. I'm going to blend out one side with my beauty blender, and then I'm going to blend out my other side with this Morphe G2 brush. Um, it's my favorite brush to blend out concealer. Also, I will not be putting on any lower lash eyeshadow I feel like sometimes when I buff out lower lash eyeshadow it like helps my concealer look even better and I really want to see what the wear of it is let me zoom you guys in let me show you guys the it's so cute I love their packaging um, and I love that it's like the same bottle as like the primer and the um this doesn't feel like glass though this feels like plastic, like a, a nice acrylic plastic, but it looks the same as the foundation. The foundation is glass. And it just looks super cute. So I picked up the shade 190. Literally, you can have a dark, like a, a higher number look darker than a lower number. Like, for example, 190 looked lighter than like 185. It's just because all the concealer shades have different undertones. So it's awesome because everybody has a chance to pick out a concealer that matches them. Um, but I did swatch it in store and it does feel super creamy, which is something that I've heard a lot of people say. I have watched reviews. Overall, I feel like everybody's giving it a positive review, but I really want to see how it wears because I have super oily skin. If something is too creamy, it is just going to slip around and just get all ugly. So I'm super, super curious. First of all, I forgot to mention that this product, the concealer, comes in 50 shades, just like the foundations, which is amazing. And also, these are the claims that I found on the Sephora website, which basically states that it is a creamy, long wear, crease-proof liquid concealer that's medium to full coverage. They also made each concealer shade to go hand in hand with the corresponding foundation shade. So if you are shade 260, then you can pick up the 260 shade and concealer and it should work perfectly fine. Or you can go brighter and work it out however you want. But it's just cool that they made it easy to shop so that it matches the number of your foundation. This is what the product looks like. Oh, I love when it's clean. I mean, it should always be clean if you're buying new, but you know what I mean. And then this is the wand. It's like a paddle. It's like a, it's a tapered doe foot applicator. 
and it is flexible. It's not as flexible as like the First Aid Beauty Avocado Concealer, Bendy Avocado, or like the Urban Decay, but it is much more flexible than like Tarte Shape Tape Wand. The thing is stiff as hell. So anyway, let's just shut up. Let's just, let's just do this. I'm so excited. So um, I'm going to do one eye at a time. I'm not sure how this dries, but I do want to do like a side by side. It feels like almost wet. Oh, I think I did good with the shade. I'm sorry if it's out of focus. But yeah, this is a lot. I've been doing a lot less concealer. Um, I'm going to do this side with the brush. So it feels very creamy, very um, moisturizing, kind of wet. It's weird. And I think I got a really good shade. It's like nice and brightening. But not too much. I don't like that super bright under eye. I'm sorry if I keep looking at the viewfinder. I just want to make sure I'm in focus. But I got over that whole like super bright under eye thing a really long time ago. So I wanted something that would brighten a little bit. But nothing too crazy. And I feel like this is a really good shade. I feel like that blended out really nicely. So here you guys can see how it concealed. I do have a little bit of eyeshadow here. But all of this darkness is all me, girl. <laughs> I do like the way that it concealed and it brightened my under eye. And I love the color. I'm so glad I went in store to swatch this. I really love the finish. It has a little, 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 little light glow coming through. But for the most part, it is matte. Like, it's like a satin matte. It feels like nothing is under my eye. That is so weird. Oh, I really, really like that. I hate when you put on a concealer and you can feel that makeup feel. But it's kind of like the foundation where it feels very lightweight. It's just that the foundation is much more matte. Um, so if you have dry skin, you will feel that tightness. But I like this. I'm not going to set it yet. I'm going to see how it kind of like settles. But I am going to go into this eye and I'm going to blend this one out with the Beauty Blender. So I, oh my god, I put too much again. I really like the wand. I feel like it, the tapered part allows you to get into like the little corners without uh, putting product everywhere. And I love when it bends because I just feel like it goes with the curves of your face. So this is what I use my foundation for in the bottom. So I'm going to use the clean side and blend out my concealer. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Now I am going in that crevice because my pink eyeshadow got everywhere. So it blends super fast. And it blends nice and evenly. I pat with the brush and with the sponge. I don't ever like swoop because I feel like you just like wipe away the foundation and the concealer coverage. So, oh you guys, I really like this. I'm so happy. So you guys can really see how it's not settling into any of my lines. It doesn't look dry or cakey. It just kind of blends it in with the foundation. It's really cool, I really like it. My Beauty Blender is not soaked. It's very, very lightly damped. Dampened? It's a little damp, <laughs> just a little bit. And I feel that the finish is almost the same. I think that with the side of the sponge, it just looks a little bit more like skin than this side. This side, it looks a little tiny bit more like makeup. Let's go into the powder. I picked up the shade Banana. Don't know if I mentioned this. By the way, don't throw the box away without taking this little guy out. And I do like that they included it because there are some powders that have that stopper built in. Like, um, it's like a flap that you take out. Some people just take it out. They don't like it and other people like myself love it so i like that this one is kind of like it's up to you if you want to put it on or not um so i will definitely be keeping this i paid 32 bucks for it which so i also forgot to mention that the powder comes in eight shades which is amazing it claims to be a super fine weightless loose setting powder to perfect and extend makeup wear for a filtered photo ready finish on lock um, and I also got these details from the Sephora website so this is the powder look how beautiful this packaging is everything that Fenty does is just classy girl so it opens up like this this is what the powder looks like you can see the little Fenty Beauty logo and I think 
It looks a little bit dark, but it might work out. We shall see. And you get 28 grams of freaking product. Okay, my milk makeup one, I still have it in the box. That one has 25 grams of product. Pretty Vulgar has 25 grams of product. The Hourglass one has 10, oh my God, that's it. This junk was 50 something dollars. This only has 10 grams of product. I had a phone call and I'm gonna show you guys how it kind of settled a little tiny bit, but you really have to look at it. It's not bad at all. Just a little tiny bit right there, you see it? But that's nothing. I was on the phone for a little bit, so I gave it more time to just kind of like settle in there. Let me just go ahead and blend this out so we have no creasing. I'm just putting this on the cap. And I am a little bit worried of it like darkening my under eye. We'll see now. So I'm not going to bake. Can you guys tell? It didn't darken my under eye in the sense that it doesn't look like darker than my skin. But I do feel like it took away a little bit of the brightness. But again, I just feel like the butter one would be too light. Like this is a perfect shade for all over my face. So this is it set. Like can you see how that like filtered my under eye compared to this side? Isn't that crazy? Like how cool is that? And it feels so smooth, so nice. I really like this powder so far. This is a mattifying powder for sure. Any luminosity that I had under my eye is gone. <laughs> but um, I do really like it, especially for me that I have oily skin. If you really look, you can tell that this one's just a hint, a little bit darker than this one now because I put the powder over it. Now I'm gonna pick it up with the sponge. Actually, let me blend this out a little bit. There we go. And then I'm gonna go in with the powder. Okay, so when I use the sponge with the powder, I definitely feel like I get much more coverage. I'm not baking, but I am pressing that powder into the skin. I do feel like it might be a little bit more brightening on this side. Okay, this is so weird. I feel like on this side now, this one definitely looks darker even though I used the brush. I really, really prefer this concealer with the sponge. I like the way the concealer blended out and the way it looked on my skin. And I absolutely love the way that the powder is blending in with the concealer when I press it in with the sponge. I think it looks pretty. So this is the side with the beauty blender. And this is the side with the brush. And I much prefer the beauty blender. So I'm just going to go ahead and set the rest of my face. And I am going to use my sponge for that. Oh my god, I have to do concealer on the rest of my face. What the heck am I doing? So that is today's look. I love the way that everything applied over the concealer like um, it doesn't look like sometimes you know you'll wear a very like drying concealer or something like that and like the powder that you put over it looks really like dry. I'm also not going to set my face because that's meant to prolong the wear of anything so I normally would set my face but in this case I will not because I really want to see how everything wears. It is currently 2.22 and I'm definitely gonna wear this for at least eight hours and I will definitely check in throughout the day and let you guys know how I feel. But so far, I am loving it. 
Hey guys, so this is the first check-in of the day, the night, whatever. It is 6.52. Let's see how things are looking. Okay, so far, so good. Except just one little area right here that I feel like the concealer wants to sink into. This is the side that I did with the sponge. So I did have a feeling that because, you know, I had a little bit more hydration that it would crease a little bit more. But it's nothing too bad. Honestly, if I would have put... Um, eyeshadow on my under eye you wouldn't even notice which is why I didn't do it in the first place I just ate Chipotle and let me zoom in so I can show you guys on my vlogging camera so hopefully you can see it right you see right here it's just creasing a little tiny bit like it's just not even creasing it's settling into the line and even less here but besides that I think it still looks good I feel like the coverage is still there, it still looks pretty, and the finish is still nice, it's not getting too oily or anything like that. So far, so good. I don't know if it's going to be my favorite concealer of all time. This is a first impression. I know that I will figure that out the more I use it, but as of right now, I will definitely be using it again because I really, really like it. Mainly, I love how lightweight it feels under my eye. I also wanted to show you guys comparisons of certain concealers. Um, so this one has 0.27 fluid ounces. Tarte has 0.3381. The First Aid Beauty has 0.17. Urban Decay Naked Skin has 0.16. No wonder I go through these so fast. NARS Creamy Concealer has 0.22. Too Faced Born This Way has 0.23. The Spare Minerals has 0.20. And like with drugstore super stay has 0.25 wet and wild has 0.29 wow i didn't know this had so much concealer Maybelline fit me has 0.23 color pop has 0.14 la pro girl has um la pro la girl la girl pro has um 0.28 so just for reference so you guys have an idea of the size of the concealer also the powder uh, Laura Mercier has 29 grams. Peach Perfect has 35 grams. I knew this one had more. Cover FX has 10 grams. Maybelline Fit Me has 20 grams. And Cody Airspun has 65 grams. Holy crap. So in comparison, um, this one has a lot of product. Hello. I love that they give you a nice amount of product. They do it with the glosses. I love that. I think the gloss is the biggest gloss I have. I can go on and on. I want to make this video short and I already edited the first part of it and I know it's long so I will check in with you guys again probably like at 10.30 and we can see how it's wearing then and then we can decide. That'll probably be my final check-in. But Hey guys, so I am back for my final check-in. I'm getting old. I'm tired. I just want to take off my makeup and be done with it. But it is currently... 10 37 p.m i've been wearing this makeup for eight hours it's a normal work day so um let's zoom in and see what's going on so i have a little bit of my eyeliner smearing honestly from what i can tell it looks exactly the same as it did on my last check-in the creasing or like the settling and the fine line it's not really creasing it's just settling right here it's the same here it's the same I feel like the coverage is still there it has worn off a little tiny bit but nothing too crazy like it's still on there it didn't separate or do anything weird um, or get patchy or anything like that and I think that it kept the coverage for the wear time and it looks good honestly I was expecting it um, to look a little bit worse after the last check-in but I am really impressed I really really do like this I also really like the powder um, I feel like it kept me pretty matte the fancy foundation is matte as is but I do feel like powder is a deal breaker sometimes if you use a powder that's too luminous or something that's just not absorbent enough your oils will seep through and I feel like this powder did a great job at keeping my oils at bay where my face just looks like natural 
you know it just has like a natural little glow and i did break a little bit of a sweat because i was cleaning a bit so i did feel like sweat coming through and i feel like it looks great it looks fine so final first impressions verdict is I love these two. I want to see how they pair with other foundations and other concealers, but the mix of them together is amazing. I'm really, really impressed, and I can't wait to see what else Fenty Beauty releases because everything, to me, nine times out of ten, is amazing. So, I am super excited that I got to try this out, and I will keep you guys posted. If anything changes, if my, my thoughts change, then I will let you guys know, but as of right now, this is a win for me. <laughs> and that brings this video to an end. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy, and leave me comments down below if you have any questions or concerns or whatever just let me know in the comments and i will make sure to get back to you again thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys next time bye